Daisy and Julian. Daisy, have you fallen off the face of the earth? I asked you to send a file to me an hour back and I still haven't got it. What the hell are you up to? What good is an incompetent wife to me if you can't cater to my needs? You can't even do such a simple task. Gosh, what a dumb useless wife I have. And now you're trying to ignore me. I might lose this important deal because of you. Send me that file right now. Daisy? I can't believe you'd ignore me like this. Half an hour later. Congrats. I just lost my deal because of you. You better reply to me right freaking now or it won't be good for you. Daisy? After 10 minutes. Hey, Julian, I am sorry. You're sorry. I lost my damn deal because of you. What good your sorry is going to do for me? Do you even realize how important that deal was for me? It wasn't intentional. I just couldn't check my phone. I was in the hospital. Wait a second. Hospital? Why? I broke my leg. Can you please rush to the hospital? I need my husband's support. How did you break your leg? I tripped down the stairs. Oh my god. I can't believe this woman. First, you don't send me that important file. And now you trip down the stairs? How clumsy can someone be? Not only that, now I'd have to leave my work in the middle to come to you at the hospital, other than the extra work you caused for me by delaying that file. You're supposed to make my life easier, Daisy. Not create more trouble. Come on. I know you're pissed, but you don't have to act this way. I do need you around. The doctor says I might need bed rest for a month or so. Gosh. Okay. I am coming there. Who knows what other troubles your clumsy self will make for me if I leave you alone. You don't have to be mean about this. You're my husband. It's your responsibility to check on me and support me in sickness and health. That's what you vowed to do, right? Yeah. I am sorry, babe. I just let my anger get the best of me. That deal meant a lot to me. I know, but that doesn't give you the damn right to take it all out on me. Honestly, I am tired of these stupid anger tantrums you throw. I said sorry. What else do you want me to do? Okay, let me make it up to you. I'll be there in 20 minutes with your favorite flowers, okay? Ah, uh, finally you're acting like my husband now. Two hours later. Julian, where are you? You told me you'd be here some two hours ago, and there's still no sign of you. Oops. Sorry. It totally skipped my mind that I had to visit you. You're kidding, right? How can someone possibly forget his wife being in a hospital? It's not my fault. I got a call from Mom. I had to drive her to her friend's place. So, you ditched your injured wife all alone in the hospital just because your mom had to visit her friend? Are you even listening to how stupid this sounds? Oh, come on. You're overreacting now. It's not such a big deal. I am sure the hospital staff is taking good care of you. The hospital staff did not marry me, Julian. You did. So stop with these crappy excuses and own up to your responsibilities. Can you please stop making a fuss out of this? I'll visit you first thing in the morning, okay? Will that make you happy? You better be here before I open my eyes tomorrow morning. I don't want any other excuses your mom invented for you. Don't worry. I'll be there. Now you shouldn't stress so much. Rest well. Daisy and Winona, I can't believe how evil someone can be. First, you push me down the stairs. You're the reason why I am here of all places. And now you made sure Julian doesn't show up here? You better quit your games now, Winona. Come on. I am just getting started. I told you not to cross me, but you're the one who decided to humiliate me in front of all my friends. I told you that was a mistake. I didn't intentionally trip you. You fell down because of your long dress, and that was a soft fall. You didn't even get a scratch. Oh, so now you wish for me to be gravely injured because of you. That's not what I said. But that accident doesn't give you the right to push me down the stairs. I have broken my leg because of you. Ah, uh, that's a... Pity. By the way, it was a wise choice not to tell Julian how you broke your leg. The sweet little creature thinks you tripped down the stairs, lol. I didn't have an option, did I? You made sure I couldn't tell anyone with your constant blackmail. This is so unfair. Life is unfair, dear girl. Deal with it. It's your choice whether you want to rat me out for your broken leg or whether you wish to keep your father's dirty little secret safe. You're so evil. You know how gravely that secret can affect my father's business as well as my family. 
Yes. All the more reason to use it against you. Wow. You're unbelievable. This won't end well for you. We'll see about that. Just make sure never to try and insult me in the future, or you'll have more than just your broken leg to show for it. Later that night, Daisy and Victor... Hell, how's my little girl doing? Dad, I've told you to stop calling me that about a thousand times. It's literally annoying. I am sorry. I didn't mean to get you all riled up. Did you need something work-related? No. I get that we run a business together. But can I not text you other than anything work-related? Come on, Dad. We're not at the office or home. We don't have to pretend that everything's okay between us, because it's not. So stop trying to be a great father to me all of a sudden. You also know that I am keeping up all this pretense only for Mom's sake. This is hurting me, Daisy. It's been six months, and you're not yet ready to forgive me. Can we not have this discussion today of all days? I am already having a pretty crappy day. Please don't add to it. What happened? Not that it's any of your business. But if you insist to know, I broke my leg falling down the stairs. Oh my god. Why did you not tell me? And of course, it's my business. You're my daughter. Where are you right now? The hospital. I am coming there. There's no need. I'll be fine. Please, Daisy. Don't do this. I know I made a mistake, but I am still your father. You can visit me once I am discharged. But not now, please. I already have a lot on my mind. Okay. I don't want to bother you tonight. You should rest up, but I'll visit tomorrow. Okay. If you insist. The next day, Daisy and Julian. Julian? What the hell is this? Why am I getting notified of a resort booking from my credit card? Did you book it? What kind of dumb question is that? Of course I booked it. Who else has access to your card? But this doesn't make sense. Why would book a resort now of all the times when your wife is in the hospital? That reminds me. Weren't you supposed to be here the first thing in the morning? Come on, Daisy. Give me a second to relax. You've been on my case since you broke your leg. Been on your case? Oh, forgive me for wanting my husband's support while I am lying in the hospital with a broken leg. You're just making an unnecessary scene about this. It's just a broken leg. Right. Don't try to dodge the topic now. What the hell is this resort booking about? Oh, yes. Remember we were planning a vacation for the next month? I just thought it would be good to go on that vacation now. You know how stressful the last month has been for me. I could use the break. I, but it doesn't make any sense. I can't go on a vacation with a broken leg. Obviously, I know that. I am not that dumb. I never said anything about you going on vacation with me. It's just going to be us, Mom and me. A little mother-son bonding time. What the hell? Are you serious right now? Your wife has been in the hospital since yesterday and you haven't even bothered to check up on her even once? And now you want to go on the vacation we planned with your mother? And with my credit card? What in the freaking world is wrong with you? This! This is what is wrong! I need some time away from all this drama. Oh. So now my injury is a drama to you? Don't make a big deal out of this, Daisy. Mom and I will be leaving this afternoon, and you can't do anything about it. So just stop wasting my time as I have a lot of preparations to make for my trip. You're seriously mistaken if you think you can ditch me here and have a vacation with your mother. This might be good for you. You can recover all this while in peace. Yeah, right. I can't believe I married such an idiot mama's boy. I know for sure that your mom is after all this. I don't care what you think. Goodbye. Later that evening, Daisy and Victor. Hey, Dad, thank you for checking in on me today. As much as I hate to admit it, it was good finally having some company in this boring hospital room. Being alone was eating me up. You don't need to worry about it, sweetie. I am always here for you. I know I have made some mistakes in the past, but I am trying to turn a new leaf. I know, Dad. I am sorry I was rude to you last night. It's hard for me to accept the past. You know how severely it can impact our business. Not just that. It will devastate Mom. We can't take that risk with her health being so critical. I know. I regret my mistake every day, Daisy. I messed up, but I can't lose my family over that. Please just give me one more chance. I am not asking you to forgive me all of a sudden, but at least don't push me away. I guess I could try that. 
But you should remember that this new start doesn't mean I've forgiven you. I don't know how much time it might take me to forgive you. I don't even know if I'd be able to forgive you or not. I know, but all I need is another chance. Yeah, okay. You can start by helping me not lose my mind in this stupid hospital room all alone. I can't believe your idiot husband would dump you like that for a vacation with his mom. It sucks, but don't worry. I got something planned to get his mind back on track. I am sure you do. I'll see you tomorrow, sweetie. Would you like your favorite cookies? Your mom was saying she'll bake them for you. Ah, that's the only thing that can cheer me up in this gloomy room now. Okay, I'll be there. The next day, Daisy and Julian. Daisy, what the hell did you do? Oh, if it isn't, my dear husband. How's the vacation going, love? How's the resort? Cut the crap. Did you cancel my resort booking? What else did you expect? For me to leave you alone while you squander my money away on a vacation with your mother? I am not that stupid, darling. Daisy, whatever game you're playing, you better stop right now. We're already here at the resort and we don't have a booking. Even your card isn't working. And that's because I blocked it, you idiot. Why would you do that? I'd like to see how lavishly you spend your own money on this vacation. Come on, Daisy. You can't do this. I don't have much cash on me right now. I am sure your mother must have enough money to enjoy your stay in that five-star resort. Are you serious? How would an old woman living off the allowance I give her have that kind of money? You don't have to mock my mother now. Oops. That's a pity, but I can't help you. No. This is not fair. You can't leave us stranded here. How are we supposed to come back home now? You already canceled the flight bookings. Not fair? It was fair when you left me abandoned in the hospital with a broken leg, right? Enjoy the taste of your own medicine, Julian. Goodbye. But Daisy, you have to help me. Hey, you there? Two days later. Julian, what is my stuff doing out? And why is my key not working? Oh, so you finally got discharged and remembered to check on your husband? That's weird. I am the one with a broken leg. You should be checking on me. You know what? I don't care about your broken leg or you. You can find the proof of that in your stuff. What do you mean? Check your handbag. Wait a second. Wait, what? Divorce papers. Yes, I am dumping your sorry self. Huh? After what you did to me, I should be the one filing for divorce and- Oh, really? But I don't see the point now. I have already dumped you. I don't have any use for a wife who would intentionally put me through all that trouble of coming home by bus. Do you know how uncomfortable that one-day trip was? Oh, and what about the discomfort I had in the hospital dealing with all of it alone? Look, let's face it. You're basically useless to me now. Useless? Wow. What the hell do you mean? I don't want a wife with a broken leg. You won't be able to help me or my mother, but would just be a burden to us. I can't do that. I can't take care of you while you heal. And what about all these months I have been taking care of you? I don't care, Daisy. Just get out of the house in my life. Wow. I just can't believe this. Actually, I should be thanking you. You did me a favor by cutting off this toxic marriage. I would have divorced you myself if you didn't. Daisy and Victor. Hey, are you free? I need to ask you a favor. Of course. I could never be busy for you. Go ahead. My stupid husband handed over the divorce papers to me and kicked me out of the house. But he can't. The house? I know. I don't want any further drama right now. I want to focus on my healing and my work first. I have been absent for longer than I can allow myself. I will deal with him later. Sweetie, you shouldn't be stressing so much about the work. I'll handle it while you recover completely. But I can't leave it all to you, Dad. It'll be too much pressure. I just wanted to ask you if I can stay with Mom and you while my leg heals. I don't want to be alone in a hotel room. Of course. You can. This is your house as well. You don't even need my permission to stay here. Thanks, Dad. I'll be working from home as soon as my leg is not healed. Maybe you could help me with that? Yes, definitely. Thanks for trusting me again, Daisy. I am trying, Dad. I'll be there in half an hour. Okay. I'll let your mother know. A week later, Daisy and Julian. You vengeful witch. Are you responsible for this? Is this how you're trying to win me back? Win you back? LOL. I don't know what you're talking about. Spare me the pretense. You're the one who got me fired, didn't you? Oh, so this is about that. I sent your termination letter to HR two days ago. You only just got it right now. I guess all these procedures take some time. 
How can you fire me? You seriously can't expect to still work in my dad's company after what you did? But this is unfair. You can't mix personal and professional relationships. Oh, I am not. You know very well that the only reason you survived this long in this company was because you were my husband. I was the one who got you second chances going against my principles in the name of love, while all you did was slack off and misuse my name. But not anymore. You're fired now. You can't do this, Daisy. You know I don't have any other source of income. I need this job. Ah, oh, that's sad. You should have thought about how badly you needed this job when you kicked me out of the house. You're getting what you want. You wanted a divorce, I already signed the papers, soon you'd be free of me, now let me do what I want, which is kicking you out of my company. You're misusing your father's position. I don't care what you think, Julian. Everyone knows I'll be taking over the company soon when my father retires. So I can definitely decide who I want to keep in the company and who I want to fire. Call it misusing my position or whatever. But you're out. So, goodbye. Two days later. Daisy and Winona. Bloody hell, Winona. What in the damn world is wrong with you? How could you leak my father's secret like that? Oh, hi, Daisy. Do you really need to ask me that? What were you thinking when you fired Julian? Oh my god, it's not even the same thing. Please take your statement back. It's too late now. It's already becoming a scandal. Let the world know about the famous businessman, Victor Cole's illegitimate child. He has been hiding this secret for far too long. The media is lashing at your father. This sure will get the business down. I don't care about the media, but please take your statement back before it reaches my mother. Oh, yes, your poor mother. Does she know that you were the one funding that illegitimate kid, only so your mother doesn't come to know about him? Please, Winona, you know how sensitive my mom is. She won't be able to handle this with her mental troubles and her heart issues. And did you think about how my son would handle being fired? Getting fired won't cost you your son's life, but this news might cause me my mother's. Please try to be considerate for once. Just take back the statement before it's too late. Even if I take the statement back now, nothing will change. The media is already going crazy over it. You should have never been snooping through my stuff in the first place, you witch. Ha 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 ha. I guess I got lucky with my curiosity when I hit the jackpot of your father's secret. I'll make you pay for this. Ha! Huh, like I have anything else to lose anymore. You're the one with everything at stake, Daisy. Later that same day, Daisy and Victor. Daisy, you need to rush to the hospital. What's the matter, Dad? Is everything okay? No, your mother just had a panic attack. It's getting worse, so I am taking her to the hospital. She feels so breathless. I am worried, Daisy. This is what I was scared of. That damn woman revealed the secret I had been keeping for the last six months. I will never forgive her. It's all my fault. Oh, I should never have been unfaithful towards your mom. Dad, this is no time to think about that. We should focus on mom's health right now. I am heading straight to the hospital. Yes, please do. I am really sorry to bother you in your state, with your leg and the whole company scandal. But you know you're the only one that can calm her down. Yes, I am on my way. Later that night. She's finally stable. Did you leave? No, I am just outside, getting coffee for you. Thanks. I do need it. Today has been a nightmare. Yeah? Your mother isn't even ready to talk to me? How could I mess it up so bad, Daisy? I've talked to her. She is very angry right now, but she'll come around gradually. You can talk to her then. Thanks, Daisy. She might not forgive you, Dad, and I'll be on her side on this. I know. I just want her to be okay. Yeah. They'll discharge her by tomorrow. Now that mom's fine, I need to figure out a way to get our company back on track. The scandal has been crazy. I should handle it before it leads to some serious damage to the company's reputation. I think I know how to do that. How? Let your mom get back home tomorrow, and then we'll discuss it, okay? Yeah, okay. You should go home and rest now. So much strain is not good for your leg. No, I want to stay here. I am the one responsible for her state, and I should be the one making amends for it. You don't have to suffer because of me. Just go home. I'll take care of her. Okay, just call me if you need anything. Two weeks later. I guess your plan worked. The media is now covering the leadership change rather than the scandal. I knew it would work. They had a problem with me. But now that I am retiring and handing the company over to you, they can't drag this further. Yes. How about mom? 
Any progress with her? She's finally talking to me, so that's something. Okay. You should give her time... Yeah. That's what I intend to do. Okay, now that everything's sorted, let me deal with the bastards who caused this. They had been spared for far too long. Just be careful. I don't trust those idiots. The next week, Daisy and Winona... What the hell is this eviction notice? Did you send this? No. If you could read it properly, you'd see it's sent by the company. A company that you're heading now. So, basically you sent it? I don't have the time for this useless debate, Winona. If you didn't know then that house you're staying in was company provided. But now, clearly, as your son isn't working for us, we have all the right to kick him out. We already gave him more than two weeks to move out on his own accord, but clearly it has skipped his tiny brain. But this isn't fair. You can't kick us out all of a sudden. Oh, it isn't all of a sudden. Your son already knew this. It was clearly mentioned in the termination letter that he'd have to vacate the house within two weeks. Guess he was too busy enjoying the company's scandal to notice. But where would we go? I don't know, and I don't care. I thought you said you had nothing to lose anymore. This isn't fair, Daisy. Life isn't, darling. Deal with it. Oh, and by the way, get ready to face the police. I reported you for the violence and the damage you caused me. Huh, that's stupid. You don't have any proof of that. Let's see about that. For now, just back into the house before I have to call the cops to drag you out. A few days later, Daisy and Julian... Daisy! Why is my mom getting arrested? I guess her crimes finally caught up with her... What do you mean? She's getting arrested for violence towards me and the damage that she caused me. Violence? Damage? I don't understand. She's the reason why I broke my leg. She pushed me down the stairs. What? But you told me that you tripped... Yeah, that's cause your mother threatened me that she'd expose my father's secret. If I told you about it, but she did that anyway. So what do I have to lose now? Oh my god, this is crazy. So my mom is the reason why I am living in this crappy trailer. Oops. Sucks to be a mama's boy, doesn't it? I made a mistake, Daisy. I know I messed up big time, but we can still make it work. I'll withdraw the divorce papers. Let's give this another chance. You're kidding, right? No, I am very serious. Just give me another chance and we'll make it work. I can't lose you now. Or do you mean that you can't lose the benefits I come with? You're a delusional fool if you think I am willing to give you another chance after you treated me like trash? I have moved on with my life. I suggest you do too. Moved on? Did you find another man? You're an idiot, Julian. I don't need some man to complete me. I have my business and I am content with it. So, with all due respect, get lost. But Daisy... Daisy blocked Julian. Conclusion. Julian's life became more miserable after that. He had to work two menial jobs to make ends meet and was even thrown out of them because of his temper tantrums. So he's still struggling to find a new job. When Ona was released from jail after a few months, she also had to pay me compensation for the damage that she caused. But she lost more than just a few dollars. After coming out of jail, she tried to reconcile with her son who wanted nothing to do with her as Julian blamed his mother for the situation he ended up in. Winona even tried to forcibly access Julian's trailer home as she had nowhere else to go only to end up getting severely hurt and getting her ankle injured. She ended up living in a crappy old age home while Julian continued living in the trailer home. As for my parents, their relationship never went back to normal. It was always strange from that point on, but they had finally got to agreeable terms. My mother never forgave my father fully, but still, she didn't want to let him go. So they continued living together as friends or maybe as a fallen out couple. I left their relationship dynamics to them. My company was finally flourishing again. Yes, it did suffer some serious damages after the whole scandal, but my whole team and I worked hard to get it back on track. As for my love life, I was giving it a rest for some time. Was it right of Daisy to keep his father's affair child a secret from her mother? What would you do in such a situation? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing.